Hey, hey, my friend, happy Thursday morning. I'm a little early on my live today, but we are actually headed out of town, <clears throat> up to the mountains, to the cabin for a little family vacay for a few days. So I wanted to jump on here and share with you guys. Um, so it'll be a shorter, I'm Emily Smiley, for those of you that are new to my page, I know I have a lot of newbies. Um, and my intent is really just to share and hopefully inspire and motivate you to move forward in your business online in some small way. So today, five posts to improve your Facebook page. It really pays to be part of a community who know the algorithms because uh, as we know, Facebook changes them all the time. Um, so some of these might be new, some of these might not. Um, either way, that's okay. Hopefully you'll take something away from today that you can immediately use in your business. So uh, hopefully, you know, you already have a business page, uh, not your personal profile. Um, if you don't, you know, reach out and I can help you get that started. I love helping people get those pages started and get those 100 likes campaign on there. Um, however, after that, when you are focusing on your personal brand, what it is that you are offering, what is your potential prospect, um, who's your target audience, um, and how are you adding into that? So uh, these all apply in that realm. So the first one um, might be a little obvious, but it's Facebook Live. Uh, we see a lot of videos, they're really promoting uh, videos over pretty much anything else on Facebook. So we all have liked, gosh, I don't even know, hundreds of pages of other people, but how often do you see their thing, right? How often do you see their stuff? So a lot of times people think when they just post something up there that they automatically assume that everyone on their page sees it, um, but really it's kind of like, um, a moving marching band moving by and you're just getting your stuff in there as they're like scrolling through and it can be a little bit hit or miss um, so it's tough however we've all had those notifications right where you got a notification that so-and-so went live or this page went live or that went live so um, it really does help you in building your page so you're like well I don't know what to what to say what to share online you share yourself Right? I mean, the whole point of being on social media is to be social. You want to connect better. That's definitely my intent on this page is to connect with you guys and have you get to know me a little bit better. So let's say, you know, you're a travel agent and um, you're traveling, you know, you might want to jump on and share where you're traveling to. That might help be helpful for your page. If you're in health and wellness, because that's a really large field, you know, maybe you jump on and you do a live sharing some sort of value with your audience on something that you've learned recently um, about health and wellness that you think that would be beneficial to them. And people will watch that rather than just some post that's going up that they actually may never see. So Facebook Lives are absolutely the number one way to share whatever niche that you're niching out to your target um, audience. So number two would be, inspirational quotes, um, sayings. Okay, this is my favorite. And if you've been on my page for any amount of time, you already know this. I love, like I freaking love motivational quotes. I don't know if it's the teacher in me. I don't know if it's the athlete in me that's like rah, rah, let's go. I just love a good motivational quote. So I know some people hate them, um, but I would say most people, especially in business, you realize that you have to uh, work on personal development all the time. Any entrepreneur is constantly trying to level up or better themselves. So I find those super helpful. Now, I would suggest that you logo it to your niche or your brand, um, especially if it's original. Try not to take anyone else's content. Facebook actually knows if it's not original content. So if it's being reposted, um, it's kind of like, you know, you don't want to take other people's stuff. First of all, that's just bad. Um, but second of all, you know, just because it's getting shared a lot maybe in your community doesn't necessarily mean that you need to move it over to your business page um, off of there. I would say whatever you can create that's your own picture, your own logo, your own style, your own saying, your own quote. I mean, you could even put your logo at the bottom of another person's quote. Just make sure that you give credit, right, to whom credit is due. Um, and then the third thing is um, funny. So I admit that I have tried to get a little better about this because on my personal page, I love memes. I don't know if it's the motivational and then slash memes, but anything that's really funny is just funny and it's funny to anybody. And so um, I think we're all guilty of this. We start a business page and we think it just has to be like strictly business 
and that there's no fun on there, but really like funny is funny. I would say keep it, you know, PG, maybe PG 13 if that's like your personality, but you know, you want to hit, you know, the audience, your general audience. Um, you don't want to be offensive in any way, but funny, I mean, funny is funny, right? Um, I love funny. So that will get a lot of engagement in whatever niche that you're trying to build and you're trying to add people in there. Um, the next post I would say is a lifestyle post. If you have not started with Instagram stories for your business or Facebook stories, if you'll notice they're merged together. So, so when I post to one, it will automatically post to the other because I've linked them. That would be my suggestion for you. People love to watch like a day in the life of, I don't know why it's so entertaining, but it really is. So I was even watching, what is it? The Today Show and they've started doing like the Instagram stories, like the behind the scenes. And they're just doing little clips of their life, right? Um, and you're like, well, what does that have to do with my business? I don't know, it just, you're branding yourself and people are interested in that. And so you're helping them get to know you a little bit better. Um, that's something that I'm you know, working on as well because it does take a little bit of time, but it's just little clips of it. Where before it was like, oh my God, post on your page, you know, 10 times a day, three times a day, five times a day. You know, that's really not, um, not what's being taught anymore. You want really one good valuable post. So if your business page, again, like I said, maybe it's travel, maybe it's health and wellness. Um, I can't think of any others off the top of my head. Anyway. Uh, you want to keep that at one. What are you adding value to? Maybe one, maybe two times a day. And then you can schedule those out. So it's not like you have to be creating these at the time of. You can sit down and think about what you want to share instead of just getting something up there just for the sake of posting. Um, and I've been there, right? Like I've gone through the like, oh my God, I have to post something for the day and be consistent. And while I was really good at being consistent, what was I really sharing? So now it's like more thinking about what it is that you want to share with your audience to be consistent on social media so that they're seeing your stuff and engaging. But at the same time, that lifestyle post is more maybe in your stories or, you know, maybe you put more quotes in your stories and those are clicking in people's notifications. So-and-so liked your story. So-and-so saw your story or whatever. So if you're not using those, I don't care what niche or brand that you're in, like what you're targeting. Um, it's just super helpful. And don't think that if it's just a business page, it has to be just business, right? You're branding you and there's more to you than just business. So I encourage you to share that. You know, um, if you're a travel agent, like I said, and you're traveling, maybe share that. Um, you know, if you're, if success for you is time freedom and being able to stay with your kids, you know, maybe you're sharing that. Like I'm so thankful, right? Today, thankful Thursday, right? Maybe I'm so thankful that my business has allowed me to stay home with my kids, right? Like for me today, I'm, I'm so glad that my business has um, offered us the opportunity to go up to the cabin for a few days in the middle of the week when nobody else almost gets to do that. So um, anything that shares kind of what you do, um, kind of showing you behind, get, having them get to know you, um, it's all helpful for your, for your business page. And I would say the last one, and this is one that, when I see them, sometimes sometimes I'll answer, sometimes not, but ask a question, right? So I'm gonna ask a question probably on here later today. And then, you know, if if people answer it, it builds up that engagement. It builds up um, what people are gonna see. If they're gonna answer a question, then the next time you post something, they're more. it's more likely that they'll see it. Um, so you want to ask a specific question, not just a broad, like I see people try to do this and they're, they ask this like deep, you want like, if you can get them to answer in like one word, that's ideal. Like I saw a whole bunch of people, they were posting like, what's your superpower, right? So that's a good one. Or um, what's your favorite coffee drink, right? That's a good one. They can answer, but it's not too personal or too thought out. So they're most likely to answer and then get back, uh, get that back to you. And then that's helpful because number one, you're learning about your audience, what, what they talk about. Maybe it's their favorite sports team, right? Anybody that knows me knows that I'm from um, Carolina, and so the Tar Heels are like, that's the awe. My two favorite teams are Carolina and anybody that beats Duke. So you get to know that person. You get to feel like you know that person. And so that's super fun when you do ask those questions to where you get to know the people on your page. And it's not just so business, right? Because it is social media, and you want it to be social, and you want interactions, and you want to connect with people. But then how can you do that when you're like, okay, well, I'm not one-on-one -on -one across the table from them. So these are some suggestions. I hope you guys find these um, helpful. Just to kind of recap, 
um, five posts to improve um, your Facebook page, especially your engagement with your audience. Number one, lives. Uh, your notifications will pop up. It will help you connect them to connect with you better with whatever your niche for your business page is. Number two, inspirational quotes or sayings. I would suggest you logo these and create your own whenever possible, even if it's only one or two a week. Number three, don't be uh, afraid to share funny. Um, it doesn't have to be related to business or business related. Just keep it pretty PG. Um, people love funny. Uh, number four, lifestyle. Maybe your um, stories, your Facebook stories or your Instagram stories, link the two if you can. Um, maybe show where you're traveling, show if you're not going anywhere exotic, maybe show the not exotic, right? People love the, the nitty gritty, the real behind there. I know I do. I love it when a person that I consider like, you know, maybe my, my mentor or my, my hero over here and they're like, one of the most powerful things I ever saw was this mom posted a picture of her home office and she's like, this is what I thought my office would look like. And it was this like Pinterest worthy looking. She's like, this is what it actually looks like. And she showed, she was literally playing battleship on the corner of her desk with her son because that's how she did it. And I loved that because it was relatable. So share those lifestyle, you know, stories or even posts because it makes you relatable. And that's what we want, right? We want to be able to connect with people on our page. And then the last one would be ask a question, get to know um, the people on your page and try to engage with them. And whenever possible, try to log that information for later. You know, you might ask them later, like, hey, how are those cowboys doing if they if they live in Texas, right? And they're and and they're a cowboys fan. If they're not, you know, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> um, but get to know your audience a little bit better. And that really will help you in building your business online because you can make those connections with people. Um, you can also improve with your Facebook algorithm to get your stuff out for more to more people. So if you haven't tried maybe one or all five of these, don't be afraid to go live. Don't be afraid to share funny. Don't be afraid to share in your stories, your lifestyle, or ask a question that's not business related. Um, you know, I would say don't get too far off. Make sure you, there's a balance of all of them. Um, but hopefully you find this helpful. All right, guys, I will see you next week for Hot Topic Tuesday. I've definitely got a doozy. Um, in the meantime, have a great long weekend and um, you got this, crush it. See you next time.